Hello, good morning everybody. Welcome to day three of National Graduate Week and this morning we've got a presentation prepared uh, for you by Amazon. Um, so um, just to give you a bit of an overview of who I am, what I'm doing here, um, my name is Heather Reynolds, I'm an account director at Career Map. Uh, we're the organisation that brings National Graduate Week to you. Um, I'm also head of National Graduate Week. So today we are joined by Kirby and Christina from Amazon. And they are going to be talking to you all about Amazon as a whole, as an organisation to work for, sharing the graduate and internship roles, as well as giving some top tips on interview skills. Um, the links to the roles I have popped in the sticky note at the top of the chat, but I will actually repost within the chat and I will also post the links to the LinkedIn profiles as well um, for everybody attending. So um, just a little bit more housekeeping. Feel free to ask away with any questions on the chat facility, but it does look like an extremely busy session. We've got 904 people in the room already, and that tends to go up. So if you're having any issues getting your chat question through, you can email it to info at careermap.co.uk. So that's info at careermap.co.uk. Um, that is in the sticky note as well. So it just means that we can get as many of your questions through and answered as possible. Don't fret if anything gets missed. Um, this is being recorded. It will be available on demand um, in a week or so. So um, keep an eye out for National Graduate on National Graduate Week. Keep an eye out for on demand. We will be um, resending this all the way through to everybody who's been here for, for today's session. Um, so. So screenshot anything in the meantime, then do. Um, I am just going to disappear off now and hand over to the team um, and I will join you after the presentation for the community. Okay. Thank you very much, Heather. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Kirby and I'm a dedicated campus recruiter within Amazon, opera Amazon Operations in the UK, um, where I hire graduates and interns into our operations. I've been with Amazon for one year and have worked in recruitment for seven years in total, having recruited across four continents. Um, a peculiar fact about me is that I have lived in five different countries and I'm now settled in London. I'm presenting today alongside my lovely colleague, um, Christina, over to you. Hi, everybody. My name is Christina. I'm a campus recruiter working in the same team as Kirby, hiring graduates and operation interns for Amazon Buildings. I've been with Amazon just over nine years, um, so in recruitment role just for the last year. And before that, I was actually area manager working in one of the fulfillment centers here. Uh, in UK in Peterborough. A uh, peculiar fact about me, actually I don't even thought about one, but um, so I actually um, do a little bit of uh, blogging on Instagram or as a side hobby kind of uh, for myself, um, just to kind of um, spice up my life a little bit, probably working from home. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit about me. And then we will kick it off with our presentation. Thanks, Chris. Um, so to, to start things off, we'd like to do a little poll with you all. Um, I'll start the poll now. You'll probably see it in the right hand side of your, your chat um, facility under polls. Um, uh, so it would be really, really great if you could all answer um, there and um, feel free to answer honestly, of course. And um, we'll also do a similar poll at the end of the session too. Um, I think that should be gone live now, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, so back to the presentation today, um, I will give you a bit of an introduction to Amazon, um, the part of the business we work within, and also tell you some of the things that you may not have known about us uh, around our efforts in sustainability and some of the networks we have to build a diverse and inclusive culture at Amazon.
Um, so this is obviously the overview of myself and Christina, which I forgot to click on to <laughs> a few minutes ago. Um, so this is kind of our uh, customer segment. So Amazon has come a very long way since Jeff Bezos uploaded his first book for sale in 1994. It has come so far and expanded so much that we've had made this little graph um, to help you and me um, better understand our business today. Um, so we have our consumer segment. Um, that's where people like me and hopefully a lot of you um, buy products from Amazon. We have uh, Kindle, Amazon.com, Prime Video, Audible, Echo devices to have Alexa help us out around our homes and IMDB to advise us on what movies we should watch. We also have our seller segment where Amazon helps self-employed and small to medium businesses to increase their sales and to create new jobs through digitalization. So more than 50% of products sold on Amazon are from small and medium businesses. Uh, then there's the content creator side of Amazon, where we engage with aspiring and established writers and publish their work. We also have Amazon Studios, where we create movies and TV shows like The Grand Tour, um, which is one of my personal favorites. Um, and finally, we have our enterprise section, where we provide technology to power companies and businesses around the world with several million active customers around the globe. So a lot has happened since uh, 1994. Um, and uh, just to give you a, a bit of a, an insight, um, in 2019, we had a worldwide turnover of 280.5 billion US dollars. Um, so come a long way from that first book being sold. So then moving on to Amazon's operations. So this is the part of the business where Christina and I recruit within. Um, this supports the consumer and seller segments of the business from the diagram before. Um, within our operations, we have three different types of sites. So when a customer places an order on Amazon, the order will be received at the fulfillment center. Um, so this is our biggest site. Uh, products get delivered here from our suppliers and sellers. They are stowed away, ready for your orders to come in. Um, when the order comes in, the product will be collected by that little orange um, robot in the second picture and brought to someone to pack it and send it to the next leg of their journey. So the next leg of the journey is a sortation center. So this is also known as our, our middle mile. Um, this is where packages get sorted for different towns towns, cities, and countries. Um, the package then goes on to the last mile, um, which is a delivery station. This is where packages get collected by individual delivery drivers and then dropped to our customers' doors. So Christina and I recruit graduates, um, graduate managers and interns across all three of these different sites. So here's a picture of our European network. Um, all of the orange dots represent one of the three site types I have just spoken about. Um, so there are more than 175 uh, fulfillment centers worldwide. So that's the, the biggest site that I showed you in the first picture. Um, and, and, and employees here pick, pack and ship Amazon orders. Um, so we have a, a really well-developed network um, across Europe and we continue to grow and diversify. So Amazon is also committed to building a sustainable business for our customers and the planet. Um, in 2019, Amazon co-founded the Climate Pledge, a commitment to be net zero carbon across our business by 2040, uh, 10 years ahead of the Paris Agreement, and have asked other businesses to join us on this mission as we have a limited window to make unprecedented headway in, in um, order to limit global warming. So to date, we have over 100 businesses joining us on the journey across 25 different industries and 16 countries. So how are we doing this? Um, we are purchasing 100,000 electric uh, delivery vehicles, so the largest order ever of its kind. Um, we are investing in wind and solar power to reach 100% renewable energy across all business operations by 2025. Um, our vision is to make all Amazon shipments net carbon zero um, with 50% of all shipments to be net zero by 2030. 
We have also invested 100 million in reforestation projects and climate mitigation solutions and are investing 2 billion to support the development of technologies and services uh, that reduce carbon emissions and help preserve the natural world. So how are we staying on course? So here are some um, concrete actions Amazon are taking to reduce uh, net zero carbon. So for packaging solutions, we, are, we use extensive testing, machine learning, materials innovation and partnerships with manufacturers to do, reduce packaging waste throughout the supply chain. So Amazon is partnering with major vendors to reduce packaging. Um, for example, uh, we are partnering with Hasbro, which is one of the largest toy manufacturers in the world and makes games like Monopoly. Um, and, and we're working together to improve the products um, that are shipped to customers. So Hasbro has designed a new box for Amazon's frustration-free packaging program as a way of cutting down on waste, helping the environment and reducing what some call wrap rage. Amazon's mission is to optimize the overall customer experience by collaborating with manufacturers worldwide to invent sustainable packaging that delights customers, eliminates waste and ensures products arrived intact and undamaged. Amazon has eliminated 1.2 billion customer boxes since 2017. Amazon is strongly committed to conducting our business in a lawful and ethical manner, including engaging with suppliers who respect human rights, provide safe and inclusive workplaces and promote a sustainable future. Our mission is for our products to be made in a way that respects human rights and the environment. Our global teams work closely with suppliers to communicate our standards and help suppliers build their capacity to provide safe and respectful working environments. We are electrifying our future transport fleets on road by 2030, which will save 4 million metric tons of carbon per year by 2030. Um, Amazon is also committed to using 100% renewable energy across our global infrastructure, um, also by 2030. Um, we are installing solar panels on the roofs of our fulfillment centers and um, starting from uh, uh, last year is when we kicked that off in 2020 and creating energy um, from our wind farms in Texas, which generate 1 million megawatt hours of wind, en wind energy annually. Inside our fulfillment centers and our cor corporate offices, Amazon is looking at ways to make these buildings more sustainable. For instance, the Seattle headquarters building is heated by recycling excess energy from a neighboring data center. At Amazon locations around the world, employees bring their energy and focus to initiatives that amplify and deliver on our company's ambitious sustainability goals. Our employees find opportunities to lead and collaborate on projects via Amazon Sustainability Ambassadors, a voluntary employee program that helps efforts by our global teams who directly, um, who work directly on managing our environmental and social impacts. Today, more than 3,000 Amazonians worldwide have signed up to participate as sustainability ambassadors, and the program continues to expand. At Amazon, we have what we call affinity groups. These are employee networks celebrating many diverse perspectives, including gender, race, age, national origin, sexual orientation, culture, education, as well as professional and life experiences. We are committed to diversity and inclusion and always look for ways to scale our impact as we grow. Amazon affinity groups are voluntary employee led groups that are designed to foster diversity and inclusion and to strengthen networking and community and community participation. These groups are organized around a shared characteristic such as race, gender or cultural identity. Each group coordinates programs that promote cultural awareness such as speaker series, um, community service days and heritage celebrations. We believe that building a culture that is welcoming and inclusive is integral to people doing their best work and is, is essential to what we can achieve as a company. We actively recruit people from 
diverse backgrounds to build a supportive and inclusive workplace. We take steps to ensure employees have a sense of belonging, value and opportunity. We have 12 affinity groups, such as Women in Engineering, um, Black Employee Network, and Galamazons for the LGBTQI plus community. Um, we know that representat representation is critical to accomplishing our goal of a truly diverse and inclusive business. And through our affinity groups is one of the ways in which we do that. Um, so hopefully I have been able to share with you um, some insights to Amazon that you didn't know before. Um, I'm now going to hand over to Christina for the next part of the presentation. Thank you, Kirby. So graduate opportunities in operations. So as Kirby mentioned at the beginning, we are hiring operation interns. So currently, um, if you would go on um, Amazon Jobs or any career map or any sites uh, advertising our jobs, you will notice that um, we are hiring operation interns and operation interns basically is an internship um, that is as a minimum three months up to six months. And it's a great opportunity for, come to, uh, for you to come and oversee how operations actually works in Amazon within three of our buildings that we were mentioning before. So, um, Throughout this internship, you will be working, of course, on the project and then will be assessed by the end if you were, have completed this internship successfully. And then after uh, that, there are, of course, we have some corporate internships. We are not managing those ourselves. Uh, there are corporate uh, recruitment team are doing them. However, there are corporate internships such as business analysts, business intelligence, human resources, HR analytics, software development, project management, procurement, and many more. So if you are interested, please do uh, a little bit of research and apply for those. Once you have completed your internships and if you are successful, you have an opportunity uh, to be converted into graduate area shift manager roles. However, um, if you already um, graduated in the last two years or currently studying in your final year, you can already apply for a graduate shift manager role. And um, start at Amazon at some point uh, throughout 2022. So these opportunities currently that we are hiring, and I just mentioned corporate because um, some of the people that would like maybe a little bit more technical internships. Uh, and then would like to cover a little bit for you uh, what it's um, like to work as an area manager in one of our uh, buildings. So as I come myself from that background, um, I've done that job for um, several years. So I know that environment very well. So just to give you a brief overview. So associates uh, teams, basically that manager would be managing various, but on average, I would say probably 60 to 80 associates. And that number can double up throughout the peak time. And I say peak time, it's basically Christmas time. So then um, Amazon basically all year is kind of working hard and preparing for the busiest period uh, in Amazon, which is Christmas. Then we have to double up and prepare uh, all the capacity to handle all the customer orders coming in. So as a manager, of course, um, you need to prepare for the shift. Um, you need to know your headcount, plan, uh, ensure the safe environment within the building. So there is a lot of safety initiatives are happening within the building um, as they are large buildings. And the first priority for Amazon is safety to make sure that all associates are safety uh, throughout the shift uh, and before they leave the home. So now there are things uh, such as um, standard procedures. So at the start of a shift um, is a standard procedure to provide a start of a shift brief to all associates. So basically, as a manager would be um, talking on the microphone to your team, providing safety tip, quality tip and success story and any uh, important information that you need to give to your team. Then, of course, uh, answer any of your questions uh, from your associates. Um, associates is basically that's how we call people that work in our buildings and, you know, uh, deal with any kind of uh, things like holiday requests, ongoing illnesses, uh, any return to works, um, any um, anything like that. So now then as a manager, um, 
in all your daily activities, whatever is happening in your process, on your shit, within your team, uh, tracking the flow, you will be working probably on some projects as well. Projects is a good way to show your capabilities, um, bring some positive impact to the company, um, basically question the status quo and etc. and then potentially work towards your promotion. And then throughout of all of this, addition to that, of course, there will be people management. So it's a big part of this job um, as you are managing quite a, a large number of people. Um, there will be a lot of aspects where you're going to have to de deliver the feedback. Uh, it might be a performance related. It could be quality related, anything in regards to that. And, you know, sometimes you might pro provide some critical uh, feedback. So you need to be comfortable of um, delivering and delivering the feedback and communicating with people and that's just a few things to mention probably that what area managers are doing in our buildings but honestly it varies day to day uh, every day is day one um, it's a very fast-paced environment a lot of things are happening throughout the day and let's go into the next slide so what it would look uh, career path in Amazon operations so of course you would apply um, throughout uh, one of the uh, our jobs and then you would complete a cultural assessment and then you would go to uh, interview panel we're gonna go on another slide a little bit more into detail but if you are starting as an intern so day one um, depending how long you chose your internship for three four five six months up to six months you would complete your internship and like i said on successful completion you could be converted to a full-time area manager now we convert candidates straight after if they let's say um, already graduating in the same year if they have a year to complete in university um, if they decide to go for masters or they still have one final year to complete then we'll provide a letter of intent to tell that we will employ graduates once they have um, fully graduated and then if you are thinking what are other career options once you join an operation so there is several other roles that then so you as a graduate, you would join as a level four amazon we have level um level entries kind of for managers so you would join as an entry level graduate area manager then you can be promoted to level five after that it's operation managers which are level six and then senior operation managers they are level seven and then after that it would be a general manager or a site leader and if you want to go beyond that, you could be a regional director or VP, vice president. So it really depends up to you what are your career goals and future plans, but that would be a potential career path within operations. In terms of mobility and flexibility, so we are asking candidates, of course, to be quite flexible when they are applying to uh, relocate. Um, as we are hiring UK wide uh, for graduates and operation interns, we do not hire for specific locations because just a fun fact, we have in UK 163 buildings that's across fulfillment centers, delivery, uh, delivery centers and sort centers. And we have a few exception buildings so all together 163 buildings. So as you can imagine, it's really hard to predict where the vacancy might come up for a graduate role. So it's really important for the candidates who are applying that they would be flexible to relocate. And overall mobility, flexibility gives you a wider um, opportunities to experience Amazon buildings. So, you know, you can uh, transfer from one building to another after a couple of years. Um, you potentially, if you speak any other languages um, in, in other countries, you can relocate to another country. So it just gives you a better exposure uh, within the business and opportunities that, come, that might come along. So um, just kind of to touch base on here as well, because we're asking for flexibility in terms of location, be mindful that Amazon do support candidates, anybody who is applying in terms of financial support, so relocation. Um, so just to touch base on that a little bit. So a recruitment process. You will apply uh, on the role. Uh, links are currently uh, pinned uh, in the chat. So if you would click on any of those links, the one that is out for in, in your interest, then you would have to submit your CV and then you will uh, be prompted to uh, submit online assessment, cultural assessment, um, how you would act in several uh, 
different situations, basically. The assessment is not timed, so you have enough time to uh, complete assessment, um, so you don't need to rush. And once that's done, basically, then us as recruiters uh, will, will receive your application and we will have to review if you do meet our profile and if you completed uh, the actual assessment uh, successfully. And if everything is good, then we will uh, send the candidates to the interview panel and panel will be completed by three Amazon, Amazon, uh, Amazon managers. So each interview will be three minutes of each interviewer, and it will be based, of course, on Amazon leadership principles. Like I said, we will mention uh, that a little bit later as well. And at the end, if you're successful, we'll start discussing the job offer and location. Uh, we do um, have scheduled volunteer prep calls, so basically just to help you as well to prepare for your interviews um, so you know everything in advance uh, and gives you a little bit more uh, maybe chances to pass the interview so um, if you will apply be mindful that there will be a volunteer prep call for you to attend so now we will go a little bit into some tips and advice uh, if you will decide to apply in an Amazon, um, how to prepare for your interviews. So of course, make sure for any role that you're applying that you actually read the job description. So you actually know what you're applying for and you're not just taking chances for the sake of taking it basically. So review all the projects that you worked on and make a list of your professional accomplishments. And that honestly can be anything. Um, so if you are a graduate, understand that you're not going to have a uh, large experience, um, professional experience in terms of full time jobs. So any accomplishments from your um, studies and projects that you worked in university, um, any sporting societies where you maybe were a captain or lead, anything like that, that you successfully achieved it, um, any in the part time jobs or previous internships. Please make sure that you use those uh, to use in your examples to uh, the questions that you will receive from the interviewers. Now, in Amazon, um, we are um, asking candidates to use a STAR methodology. We're going to go in about this one a little bit in the next slide and explain a little bit more what it's all about. Um, throughout the interviews, be ready for follow-up questions. Um, Follow-up questions, it doesn't mean that you are failing, it's just that our interviewers are always trying to get a little bit more data, details, so they just might give you some probing questions throughout your interview, so just don't be put off by that. Um, practice your interview responses aloud. There's different met methods of preparing for the interviews, but then you're practicing aloud. I think it just gives you an opportunity to, to understand how do you uh, sound um, then you speak to somebody so you can record yourself, talk to your family or friend, maybe um, just to help you out. Prepare some questions for the interviewers. So this is just to show your motivation and interest into the role. Um, so you're going to have, like I mentioned before, three interviewers interviewing. So have at least one question um, for each interviewer. Um, and then, of course, know why this role and why Amazon. So I think it's a good way to show your interest um, and just to give a little bit um, an interesting introduction maybe before your interviews as well or the interviewers why you specifically decide to apply for this role and why with Amazon. So here on this slide you can see all our 16 leadership principles. So I'm not going to go through every single one of them because it's quite a lot. However, you need to look into every single one of them know what they stand for. As I mentioned before, your questions in the interviews is going to be based on Amazon leadership principles. Um, so one of my favorites, just to touch base a little bit, is earn trust. Um, so earn trust is um, something to do with people management, as I spent a lot of, um, of my years working with people. Um, it's a lot of attention to make sure that the people engage, you build relationships and tr tr trust with them. So uh, make sure that you are uh, aware of every single one of them. And as I mentioned, we'll touch base a little bit about STAR methodology. So what it's all about. So it's a structured way of answering your questions throughout your interviews. So you need to start the situation. So describe this uh, situation that you were in, um, the task that you needed to accomplish, 
And of course, you're not going to spend too much time here, but just going to give them a little bit of the overview. Then you will start with a task. So what goal you were working towards? Again, give them a little bit of understanding. And majority of the time you probably spend on the action part because you will describe the actions you took to address the situation. What specific steps did you take? What was your individual contribution uh, in the specific situation? And then of course, at the end, it would be results. So describe the outcome of your actions, what happened, how did the event end, what you accomplished and what did you learn? So as you can see, structured way of answering. Why do we want that? It's easier to follow um, your examples, your stories that you're telling to the interviewers. Interviewers, of course, taking notes. So they want to kind of um, easy way to follow what you're saying. So if you would use the start methodology, it will be structured way for you of answering the questions. Um, make sure that you know uh, you're conscious of time, then you are answering and you do not spend too much time on let's say situation because it's just a brief overview um what in what situation you have been what you were, were working towards and like i said majority of the time you probably will spend the majority of the time in actions and don't shy away from your results you want to give them a good understanding what you have achieved it's always a good thing to show a little bit of self-reflection uh what you could have done better um sometimes even if you achieve the best possible results it's always something you could have done better and of course uh, in any particular situation, what you have learned from any situation uh, in the past. And probably one of the last things just to touch base on do's and don'ts. Be specific. Amazon loves data, numbers, metrics. So if you have anything um, in the past where um, you had those uh, specific uh, like data metrics, please do use it in your examples. Prepare at least one example probably with data, um, how you analyze, maybe went above and beyond, research something um, to provide in one of your examples if uh, you will get any of those. Then be concise, but detailed, be structured, just went through star methodology so you know what that means now. Refer to recent situations where possible, if you're applying for ops internships or graduate roles, majority of you are young individuals. I'm pretty sure you're not going to have such a, um, old examples anyway. Follow up if you need clarification. If you don't understand the question, if something is unclear, always ask to clarify it. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. If you cannot find the answer, ask if you can move to the next question, of course, and focus on your individual contribution, um, especially, um, and as we're saying, try to avoid we, and rather concentrate on I, what I did. Don't avoid generalization. So as uh, probably already going through um, those tips and advice, you realize that the questions that you might get, they are not gonna be, um, how you would act in a certain situation, rather what have you done in the past. Um, so from your actual experience, um, your real life experiences and situations gonna be provided in the examples. So you will receive behavioral questions. So I will try to avoid generalizations and just use your uh, examples from your past um, to answer the questions. Don't embellish or omit parts of the stories. Um, just be truthful to yourself and transparent. If you don't know, you don't know. Um, and there is no point as majority of the Amazon managers who will be interviewing you. They have a lot of experience, went through several uh, um, interviews before interviewing candidates. So it's going to be easy to spot those things and do not rely on one single example. You will receive several questions throughout the interviews and you want to make sure that you have several uh, examples prepared and you are not repeating themselves with the same examples throughout the interviews to uh, interviewers. And that would be it. <laughs> so um, what I will do now, um, after all of this, we will um, put another poll, basically the same poll on, just to see if after this uh, specific uh, presentation, now you will decide to apply with Amazon, if you change your mind. Well, I have to say, guys, that was a brilliant presentation. It's so comprehensive, so interesting. Um, and there's been lots of questions to boot as well. So um, I think that there's been, um, yeah, 
there's lots to go through. I'm glad we've got nearly half an hour to do, to be fair. So are you happy for me to just kind of rattle away while these poll results come in? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, <clears throat> some of these might have been answered throughout the presentation, but we do have people that join a little later. So apologies if there's a little bit of a repetition. Um, so Charlotte asks, what is the culture like? Are there any social events and team bondings, etc.? Yeah, so I suppose the, the, the team culture is, is very diverse um, within Amazon, which is which is fantastic. Um, we have loads of different events, um, you know, kind of on an ongoing basis. You can join some of those different affinity groups that 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 I had discussed, if, if that's kind of of interest. Um, they have kind of like regular, regular catch up touch points, how they can kind of educate the business. Um, we also have like smaller team events, um, like say, for instance, with, with myself and Christina um, and our wider team that recruit um, graduates and interns across um, EMEA. Um, like we have a, a monthly catch up, which is what we call like our all hands. And um, we also have like a UK wide catch up to like give updates about the business and different things coming up. Um, Christina and I have a um, uh, kind of a all of all of are the recruiters in in um, EMEA are um, having an event tomorrow, which is um, kind of like a half day event where we're going to be um, looking at um, different things um and how we can like continue to build a, an inclusive um culture and a, and a very happy workplace um so so loads of things going on you can kind of get involved if you want or or if you're maybe busy you don't have to either it's completely up to kind of personal choice but definitely lots happening brilliant and it looks like you did a great job with your presentation because now everybody 100 percent are likely to apply for a job at amazon so brilliant <laughs> That's great news. <laughs> That's great news. Um, right then, Nina asks, are there more females and uh, so males and females at Amazon? And what's it like being a female there? Um, I mean, if we are probably looking more into operation side of it, um, I don't have stats at hand, of course, but what we are definitely trying to work on is to increase uh, female diversity within Amazon buildings, because of course, um, maybe it's not such a, an attractive role for a female to work as an area shift manager within Amazon buildings. But from my own perspective, like I said, I've spent several years working in this role and I think it's an amazing opportunity, especially if you want to build up on the leadership um, role kind of um, aspects. Uh, as well work with people, develop people. Um, and of course, there's a lot of analytical uh, aspects to this role as well, working on the projects, diving deep into the metrics and etc. But I've never felt as a female working within Amazon buildings um, that somebody would look at me differently because I'm a female. Um, like I said, we are constantly working to increasing the, the, the female capacity within our uh, buildings and um, I've never as a female myself, um, notice any difference. I think from a recruitment point of view, I think it's probably more female, probably recruiters um, than maybe male, I see, but um, this is just probably as a preference uh, within the people where operations are slightly different. So any females that would like to apply for a graduate area manager, we welcome all of you. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, Matt has just um, chipped in on the chat. He says, I'm sorry I was late. I didn't hear anything about the salary and the packages for the grad schemes. Um, are you able to kind of go, go through that or share any links to your website? Um, so we wouldn't um, give you all the details to our salaries. Um, just at the moment, um, but, but you know, more than happy to kind of give you a bit of a breakdown of, of, of what they comprise of. Um, so we've got um, your base salary, which I think is, is very competitive in terms of, um, you know, other competitors in the market. Um, uh, we've, we have uh, shares. So we would give every everyone that's joining the graduate um, role um, shares with, of the business. And um, so that's really, really nice to, you're, so you're an owner for, of business straight away um, and you can kind of see those increase in value, which um, which they have done um, since since we, we we opened our doors, which is great. Um, then we have our benefits package, um, so that would you can kind of build it and uh, and tailor it to your own needs. Um, so um, you'd have healthcare um, covered. You can also then add different extras and 
um, you know, tailor it to yourself. Um, and um, you get some Amazon discounts, which is nice. Uh, and then if you are relocating um, for a role, you would also have a relocation package, which would be given to you um, as a lump sum, um, which Chris had mentioned earlier. Brilliant, lovely, great answer. Um, right, Kayla asked, what type of projects do grads get to work on? Honestly, it it varies so nobody is really going to hand in a project to you and it's like here you go do it um it's gonna be yourself as a graduate coming in fresh pairs of eyes in the company you will see how the uh, processes are working and you are there to kind of challenge the status quo um change something in process improvements or anything like that to help your team uh, the building the process um so any ideas that you will come up with, that could be your actual projects. However, there will be a larger scale projects as well coming into the buildings because as I said before, large company, a lot of things are changing and evolving constantly. So sometimes, you know, um, there's new implementations happening, new processes are coming and you can put yourself um, out there if you want to be um, responsible of, um, handling that new uh, process or anything that comes into the building and be the owner or SME as we call it, subject matter expert, um, and kind of talk to the rest of the um, UK SMEs uh, who are uh, constantly working together, passing on the message and et cetera. So that kind of becomes as a bigger project for yourself um, to make sure that uh, that new process is working together well and et cetera. But there's so many things that it's really hard to kind of pick one um, to kind of tell you what it is but honestly whatever you can come up with and anything that amazon is bringing don't be afraid um, if you will ever going to be in this role to step in and say like i would actually like to be part of it um and that would be your project brilliant okay then um if i went for the internship would i be guaranteed to get onto the grant scheme so with that, um, you kind of a, a, a large portion of the, the body of work that you do is that project that Christina just explained. Um, so um, within that project, you'll kind of do a couple of different segments. You'll also write what we call is a white paper. It's kind of how Amazon write documents um, internally. Um, it's kind of like doing a bit of research in university. So a similar kind of structure and format um, of sorts. Um, so you would write that and then present it um, to different leaders on on site so from that you would be um, your, your performance would be rated and you would would be either successful or not successful and um, so if you were successful in your internship then you would be offered a graduate opportunity um, as an area or shift manager within our operations and um, it doesn't necessarily mean it'll be on that particular site and um, you could go to different locations um, but we do have to have a, a vacancy to place you into so that can take just a little bit of time to kind of convert you um, to a full-time employee if you're maybe ha haven't finished your studies you have a year or two to go and um, you can go back complete your education and whenever you graduate join in a full-time um, permanent position or if maybe you, you're still have two years to do you can you can do it another internship the following summer so you're like automatically um approved for a second internship and then a, a, a permanent role once you graduate right okay lovely um how diverse is the age group that you take on um so because we are hiring like operation interns so any students are currently studying so of course they are young individuals between 18 to 21 um, and then graduates um, so we do not hire graduates anyone who already uh, graduated in the last two years so anybody who probably graduated 2020 um, and then 2021 like still studying right now um, so as you can see there's not going to be much there like if anybody had a um larger gaps in between their study years so let's say if somebody maybe finished their bachelor's and then they had two three years gap and then decided to do masters most likely somebody like that's not going to be considered because like i said you would have more experience um than what we are looking for um because we've been graduates we're looking those young individuals with potential uh, for that role to come in with us so 
I would say 18 to 20 to 23, maybe in some cases, depending um, how many people studied, like maybe masters and etc. where it could take five, six years, maybe up to 25. So, but yeah. Okay, uh, brilliant. We've got about 15 minutes to go and there's still quite a few questions to rattle through. So Sarah asked, can I apply to multiple roles? Yeah, yeah, you definitely can, Sarah. Um, you know, I, I, I would maybe advise picking and choosing which ones, you know, resonate with you most. Um, a lot of our roles tend to be quite different um, at Amazon, but, um, you know, if if you want to be a people manager and and, and, and you want to lead a team, like then our, our, our roles within operations are fantastic. Um, you know, if, if you prefer to be like an, an individual contributor um, and maybe, I don't know, like for instance, Christina spoke about our corporate roles, um, you know, they would be more individual contributor type roles. Um, so it really depends on your preferences. Um, maybe if you're interested in both, then yeah, sure, you know, feel free to apply for, for, for multiple positions. Um, if you're not in, you can't win. Um, so yeah, no, no, you work away. Um, um, we, we love to see um, people generally interested in, in our brand as a whole. Brilliant. Susie asks, can I register for the 2023 intake now? Uh, so I'm afraid for 2023, not yet. Um, so currently we're still in 2021 and we are currently hiring ahead of the year. So for 2022. So anybody um, who are, uh, would apply right now, we would interview candidates right now um, for internships and for graduate roles. And then we will try to place them throughout 2022. But anybody who is interested for 2023, then they would sh should keep their eyes out for um, any uh, jobs, probably around the same time, like right now, September to October, we will be hiring for 2023 next year. Brilliant, that's really helpful. Um, right then, um, Sally says, hi guys, I'm a computer science graduate and wondered if you've got any grad roles relating to AI. Um, in terms of our team, we, we don't have in, in, in the operation side of things. Um, perhaps in our corporate team, we, we may have some AI roles. Um, Christina, do, do you know if we have, have any AI graduate roles? I'm not sure. There's so many actually graduate roles and every single graduate role has a different recruitment team. So therefore it's really hard for us to know what's available. Um, but as a computer scientist, like I'm pretty sure there's like a software development maybe or data scientist, business intelligence graduate, business analyst, uh, data scientist, like I'm not sure you would probably mentioned already, <laughs> already lots, but there is quite a few graduate roles. Um, there's somebody who has maybe very strong analytical or like a software type of uh, background. There's definitely a few, but they would be corporate rather than operations, of course. Okay, perfect. But everything is on the website, isn't it? Yes, yes, exactly. Okay, perfect. Right then. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. You'll find you'll find all of our jobs on um, Amazon dot jobs. There's a, a special like student programs segment of of our our jobs website. So, um, you can like browse through there for for all the different type of roles, both you know in the UK, across EMEA, um, and, and more globally. So, um, you know that would be the the best place to look. Okay, brilliant. This question. Um, I think will make a little bit more sense to you than me. <laughs> um, it, it is. Is it only graduates that you're willing to take on to the management roles and currently working towards becoming an AWS certified solution architect? So, like, we're definitely hiring just graduates for this role, for sure. Um, but we are hiring, if we're talking in terms of what specific degree somebody is um, studying, um, we are, of course, we would prefer STEM backgrounds. However, we do hire across all the degrees because we want that diversity. Even we have, I have colleagues who used to work with me as a graduate who came from uh, criminology, law, um, HR, like honestly, from any degree that you can think of. So if somebody's st studying architecture and if you would like to apply for a leadership role, Applied. Nobody can stop you, really, to be honest. So it doesn't really matter what is your degree kind of background. If you're interested in the role, don't make you stop that to apply. So you don't have to have a degree in logistics, management, 
um, like engineering and etc. You can apply uh, if it's from any degree background. Okay, brilliant. Um, okay, I think this might be in a similar vein, to be honest, but I will ask. Emanuela says, I'm a graduate currently working as an associate at the moment. What would be the best way for me to apply to be an area manager? Okay, so um, it would depend whether you are, um, uh, I suppose, uh, there's some kind of internal terminology. Um, so a blue badge with us is a like a, a permanent employee. And then we have a lot of um, kind of flexible working um, people uh, internally with us. So it would depend whether you're one of one of each of those. But if you want to reach out directly to, to myself, um, I, I can kind of walk you through that process. You can find um, me on, on LinkedIn. Yeah, I'm going to just repost um, your both of your profiles in the chat there. If people can see the sticky notes at the top of the chat, the um, profiles are in there, as well as some links to the graduate and internship roles. Um, but I've just reposted your LinkedIn um, accounts. So perfect. Awesome. Uh, right then, let's have a look what else we've got here. Right, hi, unfortunately I've got a third class for my degree classification. Would I still be able to apply to Amazon? Care bit, I'm going to give this to you, but I'm not entirely sure about degrees because I don't have one yeah, myself. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, yeah, if, if you know, we, we don't look for any particular type of mark. Um, you know, we're, we're not saying we'll only accept first class honours degrees. That's definitely not the case. I didn't have a degree a first class uh, by any means. Um, uh, so, yeah, we, we, we look at anyone with that has has graduated. And um, so the, 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 the requirement is that you've successfully graduated. So if that's a, a first class, if it's a second, if it's a third, that's, that's no problem whatsoever. Um, you know, we, we, we accept all of all of the different, um, I suppose, graduate grades. Um, you know, everyone brings um, a different um, set of skills. Um, you know, be that kind of like soft people skills. Um, you know, that m may not show through in in, in what your um, graduate results are. Um, so, you know, a large part of our our our, our graduate roles within operations is 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 that management piece um and you know being really really great with people is um is a uh, definitely um you know helpful in the role um so um not necessarily that can be um quantified in a in a degree result so yeah yeah okay so that's positive you do as an organization see past uh, a number on you know on a certificate essentially which is um, encouraging for, for people who have um, something that maybe um, wouldn't be a, a favoured elsewhere. However, we have got um, Jason Hendry who asks, do grads on scheme work towards any formal qualifications? Um, not really, no, not that I'm aware of. Um, I mean, our graduate scheme, first of all, um, like other companies, they have usually like two year graduate scheme and Amazon, we don't have that. It's a permanent contract once you have joined as a graduate area manager. Um, and then you kind of tailor your future with Amazon how you want it. Um, but other than what was mentioned, no, that I'm not aware of. Kirby? Um, so, n n no, like a, there isn't, I suppose, specific, specific certificates that you would um kind of do in your day-to-day -day job um, however we do have like a lot of learning tools um, available to everyone online um, we also at the moment are rolling out um, a thing within our operations maybe if you're kind of like an engineering background you might have heard it before but um, it's around continuous improvement and, and, and what that means is um, you know how to continuously improve a process or um, you know something happening on site so um, there's all these different kind of methodologies and practices within continuous improvement and there's different like levels of certificates you can get they're called um, like belts the same as in like karate or 
I don't know, some of those martial arts. So you've got like a green belt, a black belt, all of these kind of different um, tiers. Um, so we're rolling out a program at the moment um, for um, people within our operations to to get those different levels of 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 belts. Um, so that's certainly something that, that you can get involved in. Um, you know, I think there's always loads of learning opportunities at Amazon. It really depends on your own personal preference um, and whether you want to like put your hand up and, and, and get involved in them. Um, so um, loads of opportunities if you do want to um, kind of go explore and learn more. Marvellous. Great answer. Right, we've got about five minutes to go. I actually can't believe where the time has gone. I've got a couple of questions which I have saved till last because they are directed at you both individually in terms of what your own experiences. And I think it's a great way to, to end a session. Um, there's, I'll, there's two questions for each of you. So how would you describe working at Amazon in three words? And what has your personal experience and feeling been um, as an employee at Amazon? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> Great questions. Um, three words is difficult. Um, Busy, I think, would be one. Um, uh, uh, a, a second would be kind of learning. Like, I think, um, you know, we we are constantly trying to evolve and, and, and change how we work. Um, so, you know, that kind of um, always creates, like, learning opportunities, um, which I think is really fantastic. Like, um, I, I've been in the business... Uh, just a little bit under a year. It's going to be a year next month. Um, so I, I've been able to get involved in loads of different projects, which is awesome. Um, so so I, I, I love learning. Um, so busy be, because we're, we're actually really, really busy. <laughs> um, uh, uh, and, and, and learning. And then the third one um, would be probably opportunities. So that I think there's loads of opportunity for people to grow and develop. Yeah. Um, it sounds like there's really opportunity to thrive, you know, so uh, that's that's what I'm getting from everything yeah. here. You know, I think it, it sounds like, you you know, there's great opportunities. There's opportunities to work hard and to really take the business forward and be a part of it. That, at least that's the impression that I yeah. have definitely got from this session. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, that that's definitely the way it is, Chris. You stole one of mine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so because I spent such a large um, number of years in Amazon, so of course I have experienced a lot of things. But I would say it's definitely an exciting um, career path that I've joined. So my first word would be exciting because I have started as a green badge which is an agency associate nine years ago in peterborough in fulfillment center and then i worked my way all the way to manager role and now i have shifted into corporate working as a recruitment which is as well i think somebody asked the question like um if it's possible to go from operations to um Corporate, it is. That's what I did. So I spent eight years in operations, and then I decided that I want to change my career path, and now I'm in recruitment. So it's just exciting. Those opportunities, that was my other word that I wanted to use, opportunities, because it just shows how much Amazon can give it to you, that you don't have to be, um, like, sometimes you're stuck within the company, like, in one role for years and years and years, and in Amazon, it's not like that. If you're willing to try something different, you can start in operations. Later, if you are having maybe more passionate and you want to work on like a bigger project so you can go into program management roles and etc and work on those bigger projects that um, impacts wall amazon not just one building or your process or your people and then another word that i wanted to use would be, be um like support supportive environment like I so far what I've seen of and of me working in Amazon for such a long time, the support that I have received um, through all the channels within an Amazon and organizations and the teams and the managers that I had was incredible. I I am forever grateful to what I have achieved in um in the an Amazon career and without them I wouldn't be able to do it. So that would be from my side. And that is, I think, a absolutely fantastic note to end on. Thank you so much for um, such concise answers. I think it's been um, 
a brilliant for all. There's still 836 people in the room, which is awesome. Um, <laughs> loads of questions asked. Kirby's just posted in the chat that there is an event on the 28th of October. Um, I have also asked for that to be, uh, the information for that to be posted on the Amazon profile, which is on the National Graduate Week website. So if you visit National Graduate Week, go on to the industry section, within there you'll find the Amazon profile. We've actually um, put the downloadable document for that event in there as well. So you can find out more, obviously, in Kirby's link, but on the profile later on today if you don't get a chance to click through to this URL here. Um, I think that it's it's my opportunity to, to thank you again for all joining us, people at home um, who are logged in, the team here, you know, it's been fantastic. Um, I'm going to just hand over to you for the next 30 seconds to say any final words. Um, but from me, thank you, everybody. Yeah, thank you so much, Heather. And um, yeah, thank you. Thank you all for, for for joining. It's been amazing to have such amazing questions and, and, and such a large group of participants. Um, so yeah, I hope that we see some applications from some of you and, and get to see you on the, the under, other end of the, the recruitment process. Absolutely. Yeah, same. Um, thank you very much for having us. It was lovely to be here and speaking to such a large audience. But yeah, hopefully that uh, whatever we gave you today will be useful for your future applying with Amazon. And as Kirby said, looking forward to your applications. Yeah. Wonderful. Right then, guys. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.